In the battle against depression and anxiety, there are many, many techniques we can use. Some are designed to protect you, and others are designed to help you fight back. There are so many techniques that they would be enough to actually fill a book. Some techniques warrant a whole video to themselves, and others are quite short and quite snappy. So this video deals with five do's and five don'ts when tackling depression and anxiety. Welcome to Rector Rockstar. When you fall, when you bleed, remember life's a things you learn when you're lost and you feel don't lose your faith in the dark. Do reach out for help and support. Remember that depression and anxiety are essentially bullies and they want to make you feel isolated and alone. Therefore, turn to people you can trust and who care for you, or turn to organisations that can help you to talk about how you feel and what you're going through. And just by talking about what's happening to you, it can make you feel less alone it will help you process what's happening to you and it will also make your feelings feel less severe and less heavy and impactful. So my advice, do reach out. Don't blame anybody or anything for the way you are feeling. You can't control the world but you can control how you respond to it. Don't allow the world to keep making you jump and dance and respond and react to all of its negativity. Take control back. Delay your reactions. Don't respond. You can control how you react to your own world. Enough. Do, do challenge negative feedback from others. If you receive judgment or criticism, first evaluate if it's helpful or unhelpful and disregard anything that is unhelpful. Now this is because if you were to accept it, there is somebody always listening and that's our friend, the subconscious. And if you accept the negative feedback that is only there to hurt you and be unhelpful, your subconscious will believe it is the case and then make changes in your life to make you fit the criticism that you've received. Therefore, anything that is simply there to hurt you, to tear you down, to break you down, dismiss it, disregard it. And anything that is being offered to you as helpful feedback, you can learn from it. Don't. Don't look to social media for empathy and support, as it's rarely forthcoming from those places. Social media these days is generally a constant stream of negativity, of criticism and bickering. And this will not help you when you're trying to become more positive. Just say no. Do Take steps to get a good night's sleep. Establish a routine. Make sure your bed is comfortable. Make sure the room's not too hot and not too cold. Take any clocks out of the room. Another good method is to use relaxation techniques such as centering or affirmations. Also, consider writing a journal. Write down anything you need to remember so you're not trying to hold on to information in your mind. And then finally, I suggest avoiding screen time before you go to sleep. And this is because the light from your phone or from your tablet will make your brain believe it's the middle of the day and therefore it'll go wakey wakey. So take all reasonable measures to get a good night's rest. Night everybody. Don't. Don't internalize anger and frustration as they have the power to consume you. 
The result of this is a build-up of excess adrenaline. And this will only serve to make you feel worse, tense, on edge, like you could just snap like that. Therefore, to combat this, think of doing exercise just to burn off all that excess energy. And as you can tell, I haven't fought people very often. But also another way is to take that excess adrenaline, that excess energy and channel it into a different goal. So you've tried going this way, it didn't work. So as a frustration builds, channel your energy, burn off the adrenaline in going this way instead. Do. Make time to enjoy yourself. Smile, laugh, mess about. One thing that can happen when you're in the grip of depression is you overlook doing the things that bring you joy and happiness. When I looked at my own life's routine, I discovered that I would wake up tired and start worrying. I brushed my teeth while worrying. I went to work stressed, worried, I came home worrying about work. I would then sit in front of the TV and worry about what might happen the next day. And I'd then go to bed stressed and worried. And that is not a lot of fun. And it might be, if you look at your own routine, it's similar for you. So my advice is mix it up a bit. Instead of sitting in front of the TV, go and sit outside. Instead of playing on your phone, dial someone's number and speak to them. Things such as pets can make you happy. And one thing that makes me happy is, of course, I don't usually look like this. I look like this. <laughs> Playing in a rock band and singing rock music is what makes me happy. It brings me joy, satisfaction, fulfillment. It gives me something creative to do. It gives me something to look forwards to. And it also ensures that my life has balance. A bit of sweet to go with the sour. A bit of light to go with the dark. So what I suggest is you look for something within your own life that can bring you joy and satisfaction and give you something also to look forwards to. Overall, it has been demonstrated that if you change your behavior, this can have a positive impact on your mind. Therefore, look at your routine, make changes, restore balance to your life. Make sure there's positive to go with the negative. There's happiness to go with the sadness. There's sweet to go with the sour. And this will serve to break the circle of negativity. Don't. Don't become dependent on stimulants such as nicotine or alcohol. Alcohol in particular is a mood enhancer, which means that if you feel down, it will make you feel even more down and therefore is not beneficial to you. Yeah, I know, I mean, it was absolutely crazy. I mean, they, they pulled it out of the water and it turns out it was actually a dolphin. You do realise we're recording, right? Ah, right, okay. So what we got next then? Do eat healthily. Do eat healthily. Unfortunately, in the battle against depression and anxiety, sugar and fat are not your friends. Unfortunately, these things can only serve to make you feel worse. Therefore, if you do cut down on sugar and junk food, you can begin to feel better in your body and therefore better in your mind. Don't. Don't constantly relive past battles and past struggles in your mind. The past can't be changed. And worse than that, there is somebody always listening to what you're thinking, and that is your subconscious. Now, the subconscious has no concept of the past. It thinks that the images you're flashing past it are happening now, and therefore it will generate the feelings of fear and anxiety and stress. 
Therefore, use affirmations, use centering, use other techniques to force positivity into your mind instead and give yourself a break. I hope you found these pointers useful. As always, thank you for watching. Keep smiling and take care of yourself. I won't waste my life away Never close my eyes Living like it's my last day Never close my eyes See, Welcome to Rector Rockstar. And we've got dogs in the film set. <laughs> Laugh, smile, mess around. Drop your microphone. Crikey. Come on. Don't never work with children and animals and microphone packs. And also another useful technique is to write a journal. And I've just noticed I'm doing all this wearing a beer t-shirt after saying don't use alcohol. Sugar and fat and not to your friends when you're trying to defeat depression and anxiety. They no! No! I want my Papa John's! Don't inter... In internalise? <laughs> I've lost control of my body altogether. <laughs> Do take steps to get a good night's sleep. It's... Okay. Do take steps to get a good night's sleep. Do it again. Do it again. Do take steps. <laughs> okay. <laughs>